All right, Lewis Porcelain, OmanimalMarket.com, midday update, and it's uh, 10 16, uh, October 16th. And uh, all right, so we uh, took out the five minute pivot and we went through the bull bear zone. And then we had this brutal break from here, 41 basically, all the way down to 27. Looked like it was going back outside of value. Uh, this must have been the break based on the housing starts because it looks like it came out at 9.15. And it, like I said, it was noise, and but it even scared me out. And, you know, I ended up uh, scratching a lot of my stuff. And actually, I'm down a little bit of money because of this break right here. But anyway, uh, we got to our targets on the upside. Here's my concern right here. We started out below value. On the bell, we walked our way in value. We took out our five-minute pivot, got above the bull bear zone. All right, we worked our way all the way up, took out the Globex high. I always like to see the Globex high taken out by at least four ticks, but I'm going to raise it to eight ticks, which we did. But we got a lot of resistance here at 63, and that was yesterday's high, so we couldn't take out yesterday's high, nor do we take out yesterday's low. So what's concerning me is the longer we stay inside value here, we have a good chance of moving all the way back through value and and going back down to the lows. So things to watch, okay, things to watch. The bull bears loan starts right here at 36 half, and then we got the five-minute pivot at 1833 half. So a five-minute close under that, and um, look out, we're going back down. So um, I am um, on the sidelines um don't know if I want to play this from the short, from the long side. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to play it from the short side. So I will be on the sidelines unless we take, take if we take this out, um, then I'll be getting short again. That's uh, that's what I'm looking at. A um, lot of volatility. Um, I don't know. Um, please, people, email me at uh, Lewis. I'm sorry at uh, support at manowarmarket.com. I have a lot of problem with domes freezing and so on. I want to know if everybody else is having the same problems. Yeah, go ahead, you electronic idiots. You went all electronic, all you exchanges, and you can't have the servers or anything to keep up with it. And we haven't even seen the Armageddon yet. So uh, I'm sorry, I got to rant and rave once in a while. Humans never had uh, synapses where, you know, you know, the screen froze. Your brain froze a little bit, but at least we got the orders filled. All right. So, um... We are sitting, let me see here, positive delta of about 21,000 contracts, 21,000 contracts, um, which I used to think was a lot until you see the action for the next day, a couple of days. Here's our uh, profile, the way it's looking. We got our, let me see here. So we got the mode down here at 1838.75, so the most amount of trades happen there. Could be an attractor if we keep going down. And then we've got the mean at 44.35, okay? Let me put this together. I'm going to set daily splits. And a daily split, night and day session together, mode at 1838.75. So um, take a look. Kind of ended up where the volume is more on the top today. If we go through what they call go through and back down to the bottom and put the volume more volume in back here, it could end up being a double distribution day, double distribution. So I'm I'm worried about that uh, about the the fact that we're staying inside value here. You know you got to get above value and stay out of it. All right. So uh, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the five minute pivot if it moves up. I'll tell you. All right, everybody, good trading. Have a good uh, uh, good afternoon. Got to love the volatility. I'll talk to you later. Bye.